The national defense strategy has asked for us to be ready for a near-peer competition and where we need to be able to go in a rapid manner to try and deter enemy actions. The reason why we're doing the dynamic wing exercise is it allows us to deploy the wing to an austere environment to be able to launch operations in a contested area and then be able to receive follow-on forces with minimal command and control. And Davis Monthan is really leading the Air Force in that, in that capacity. Uh, and the reason why we exercise this and why we've done the dynamic wing exercise out here at Fort Huachuca is to really make sure that our airmen are ready for any type of adversary that they may go up against. From the last time that we executed the dynamic wing exercise, we've really made some great evolutions. This iteration, we have gone to a austere environment of just a runway, minimal infrastructure, so that way our airmen could practice building up a base of operations and be able to launch out of those operations from multiple different levels of degradation and communications and under fire and under duress. So the last time that we employed the dynamic wing in an exercise, it really focused more on the A-10 operations, and in this level of exercise that we're executing, we've brought together rescue and attack assets to accomplish the mission. So it's not just the A-10s, HH-60s, HC-130s, Guardian Angels, and really the base mission support have come together to execute the exercise. So we've gone from just a mission focus to a complete wing focus in this iteration that we've accomplished. So the other key takeaway from this exercise that has been an improvement since the last exercise is this version has been much more joint. We've had participation from Fort Huachuca in the Army, from the Marines and KC-130 that have airlifted us to this location and then from other ACC bases where we've been able to communicate with them, provide them fuel and weapons to get the mission done. I think the biggest lesson learned that we always come back to is that it takes leadership to be able to thrive in this environment. And that's really what we're trying to do here is create that next set of leaders that can continue on to get the mission done. And so the Airmen at davis Monthan should know that they're leading the Air Force, they're leading the DOD in supporting our national defense strategy and being ready for whatever adversary may be down the road. They have led through tough circumstances and the work that they have done here is gonna make sure that our nation is safe. Rescue and attack. Mm -hmm.